Hello, viewers. Good morning. This is your your own channel for trading advice. Raymond says channel. I am Ray. I just bring you today something new topic, uh, for all my share traders to 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 give them a little review about a very famous um stock, uh, in the UK market today. And it's heavily being criticized um, b to buy or to hold or to sell. Um, so I thought I'd just bring up my thoughts on here. I just give a little brief about myself. I'm talking slightly little quicker to, to not to making you guys bored because I don't personally like when I'm going for other reviews or some people do the reviews. They try to talk longer to explain their own things. But I must say about myself very few quick things is I am in the trade stock market for nearly 14 odd years in the UK and I am kind of myself a very accomplished and most of my speculations are always uh, on dot and uh, I do take up losses but very minimal basis and I try to mitigate it anyway so let's get back to the quick review about intu.l it is the it is the acronym for buying in um shares for that so we just seeing this share is drastically gone down pretty much we're looking for one week graph in the one week graph we can see it's sliding up and down up and down pretty much we can tell it's uh, in 52 weeks it's gone up to the 3.105 low and highest is it's hits in 52 week which is 83.58 pence which is nearly a pound so Everybody who see this 52 weeks up and down, they always say, oh, wow, this is a nice share to buy. And also, of course, um, because it's a very low price share, so it is it is really appealing for everyone. So let's get back to the past six months. What went happened? What went wrong? What is exactly affect the COVID-19 to NTU.L properties and why what it should be our strategy as a trader as a wise trader a wise trader we should understand and to see whether it's a good thing to flog or not so uh let's get back to the date where we can see in december it was hovering around 32 pounds and it's falling down so the it was falling down not because of COVID-19. It was falling down because the retail market in the UK is not sustainable at the minute. Um, Debenham was closing 300 stores um, and they are quite big. And you can see, of course, the, the shopping centre only run if the if the companies open their outlet and the stores and the footfall and the people's coming out. So, of course, the austerity affects the people people are more into the nowadays to just buying a food toiletries and substance nobody's into the fashion industry you can go and buy any clothes which you know normally used to buy for 20 pound you can buy for one pound uh, in the sale uh, i literally see that i'm just not um saying something just for fun but i see myself the big big name i don't want to take their names big brands are nearly selling the their product for very very cheap prices um because people are not into fashion at the minute of course the the good thing is uk market is open now shopping center is open so we should many people was thinking that into your property market share should go up sky high and come back to at least 30 pence but that's not the case guys it is my personal ex speculation and my opinion my personal opinion is the share is not gonna go high that much back again of course because the the tenants are not paying a rent for the shops and uh, and and of course the shopping center has um a land a mortgage to bills to pay and a lot of things to be um considered but the good thing is very very good thing is the market capital is 81.84 million which is not a bad market capital and of course the government uk government is going to bail out a lot of things especially banks and all so I am not looking this company to go to the administration, but as per the news I've seen and of my um, my analogy on the news, it says that they might go for administration, but um, I think they're gonna be far far ahead for that because um, 
to this kind of industry and this kind of big size of shopping centers if they go bust um it is a bad name on the country actually so you can might keep up the the uh, standards up to the um up to the matching the international market because it does not suit us to go bust like this especially the um especially the it, 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 because of the covid 19 of course people may and countries may go for losses uh, but again okay let's get back to their point let's see the graph chart for last two years which is a beautiful graph you can see it was 182 then it gone up and down then gone up back again then gone back down to 112 and then since it's going to be like look like a roller coaster ride a little bit here but here since it start going to sliding down and down and down and down so of course the covid 19 was not here not in the june not in here it is the austerity which is kicking in so let's go back to the five years chart in five years chart it is sliding from three Ooh, lala. so that is that is something we should see the company is already onto the downhill because of the debits and all these things so yeah but 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 i may think this company will uh, resurrect back and it will come back again it is bringing up uh, a new hope in the market very soon um all everybody is actually kind of focusing of vaccine of the covid 19 but as the uk market is open and our debt toll has gone pretty much down at the minute so i'm thinking um this is definitely gonna go up um if anybody who wants my advice it's my personal level advice nothing to do um with the anything but people you must subscriber you must please do your own research on it um before you buy but if i was if i was you i will buy this share and hold it for for at least good couple of months or six months or year this might gonna go up and give you a good lucrative uh, double up or triple up jump uh, definitely definitely mm, but um you might do a short sale here as well um if i go back to you one month in one month time we can see it was flying around 4.5 4, uh, 5.5 5.6 and then this jump up straight to the nine so nothing happened that all the shopping center was shut down but it still is going to uh, slightly up and many people just making their double up when they bought it for four pound and they sell it for uh, nine pence sorry so it's not a pound pence so yeah guys um you might see again slightly more peaks in there it is a very interesting company to invest for for a, a for low investor that's that's mark my word for the low investor who don't want to spend a lot of money to get a lot of shares so yeah guys um stay tuned please subscribe my channel i'm just a newbie in this business for youtube side actually but in the stock market i have a solid 14 years successful um career i uh, i would like to just come up a few more videos probably you might um some people text me already to make a videos on um looking coffee and hurts and all so i might make one very quickly very soon to to publish because i am quite liking it because i don't want to waste knowledge and analysis in my mind to just waste on just uh, stay with me uh, i would like to share with you people and subscribe and like uh, will give me more courage to make some more my thoughts and and ideas to share with you guys so please kindly do subscribe um anyway the shortcut i want to just mention one more thing because always in my in in end of my video I always uh, try to explain one very light and minute thing to explain you guys guys if the market capital is 77.51 million as in one month as as we see in one year time it's 77 is two years time so guys imagine when the share price was here what was the market capital of this company make a note of this it means this share is gonna give you good 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 amount of success in any way and um i advise people to not to buy the cfd on it uh, because cfd may may get you quicker empty your pocket 
but if you buy a CFD, you make sure you put the cushion money underneath and do not use the complete margin uh, money what you have to use in your CFD. CFD might give you the big, big, big good money jump, but uh, I ideally when I see a, a penny shares or one of penny shares, these shares I, sh I normally buy a physical shares uh, because physical shares they stay with a little entity, um, give you a little profit, but it give you a little piece of rent okay guys so i want to just not want to um make you guys what you should do but this is all my personal thinking and speculation but my best idea for trading is to do a safe game not to be um, because trading is not a gambling trading should be treated as a business as a as a kind of analogy as an analysis um, um so it should not be dealt as a gambling and i am not a fan of the gambling so anyway guys stay tuned to my channel raymond says my name my channel um i 